sixth grade module six lesson seven problem set number one the number of pockets in the clothes worn by four students to school today is four one three and four perform the fair share process to find the mean number of pockets for these four students sketch the cubes representations for each step of the process okay so we have four one three and four so we need to do the fair share process to share the cubes so i'm going to start by sharing this cube down here so that would look like we now have three there two here three there and then this didn't change and four there so let's do it again. So now, looks like we have three, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna take this four, the fourth one, and add it right there. So that'll give me three there, three here, three here, and then we take one off of there, so that's three. So now it looks like if we fair share all of those, we get three in each set. Part B, find the total of the distances on each side of the mean to show the mean found in part A is correct. So let's do a dot plot. So we have one, two, three, four, and we had two fours, a three, and a one. So the distance from, we're saying the mean is three. So we've decided the mean is three. So the distance from one to three is two, the distance from four to three is one, and four to three is one. So together, the distance there is two. So this shows that the mean is three because the distance from the left side to three is two, and then the total distance on the right side to three is also two. Number two. The times, rounded to the nearest minute, it took each of six classmates to run a mile are 7, 9, 10, 11, 11, and 12 minutes. Draw a dot representation for the mile times. So let's just start with that. So a dot representation for the mile times. We have 7 to 12. One seven, no eights, one nine, a ten, two elevens, and a twelve. So this is miles and B says, suppose that Sabina thinks the mean is eleven minutes. Is she correct? So she thinks the mean is eleven minutes. But to get to from twelve to eleven minutes is only one. And then over here, the distance from 10 to 11 is one, but we also still have the nine to get to 11 and the seven to get to 11. So 11 is not going to be the mean because the distance from seven to 11 is four, two, and then nine to 11 is two, and 10 to 11 is one. So these add up to seven. So the distances on either side are not even. So seven is a lot greater than one. They're not equal. So 11 is not going to be the mean. So you can kind of explain that and show your answer. So let's find the mean. Let's erase this stuff. Okay, so we want the mean to be even on both sides. So let's try 10. Use a different color. Let's try 10. So the distance from, we have two 11s to get to 10, so that would be the distance there is two, and then 12 to 10 is two. From nine to 10, the distance is one, and seven to 10, the distance is three. So those add up to four. One, one, and two add up to four. So now they're equal on both sides. So the distance to the left of 10 is four, and the total distance to the right of 10 is four, so the mean would be 10. 
Number three. The prices per gallon of gasoline in cents at five stations across town on one day are shown in the following dot plot. The price for a sixth station is missing, but the mean price for all six stations was reported to be 380 cents per gallon. Use the balancing process to determine the price of a gallon of gasoline at the sixth station. Okay, so we don't know the price of the sixth station. That's missing. But we do know that the mean is 380. So the mean is right here at 380. So the distances on either side need to be the same. So let's see what the distances are so far, and then we can figure out where the missing sixth one needs to go. So from 380 to 384, the distance is 4. The distance from 380 to 384, another one, would be 4. And the distance from 390 to 380 is 10. So the total distance on this side we have so far is 18. So now from 375 to 380 would be 5. And this looks like 370. So from 370 to 380 would be 10. So the distance over here right now is 15. So where we would need to even this out is, I notice that this side, 18, is greater than 15. So 18 minus 15, we need to add three more on this side. So I need to place something three away from 380 to the left, which would make it right here, 377. So when I find the distance there, I can add it to the three, we get 18. So now the distances are even, 18 and 18. So the sixth price would be 377 cents per gallon. And number four, the number of phones, landline and cell, owned by the members of each of nine families is as follows. A, use the mathematical formula for the mean, determine the sum of the data points, and divide by the number of data points to find the number of phones owned by these nine families. Okay, so we're gonna add all of these together. So we have three plus five is eight, plus, let's see, three sixes, four sixes would be 24, is 32, plus 14 would be 46, plus eight would give us 54. So we have 54, and then we need to divide by how many there are. There are nine families. So we do 54 divided by nine, and 54 divided by nine is six. So the mean is six phones owned by um, the, the families. So that's how we find the mean using the formula. So you add up all of the numbers and then divide by how many there are. B, draw a dot plot of the data and verify your answer in part A by using the balancing process. So let's draw a dot plot. We have anywhere from three to eight. So three, four. We had one, three, a five, four sixes, two sevens, and an eight. So let's find the distances. So the distance there is one, and the distance from six to eight is two. So that total distance on the right side is four. The distance from five to six is one. The distance from three to six is three. So the total distance there is four. So they're balanced on either side. Four is equal to four. So the mean is right here at six.